every horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Eddie Curly, I'll pull you off that horse. Oh, road agents, huh? You know who I am. I ought to. You've been chasing me long enough. But I got away from you before. Not this time, Curly. You've kept yourself pretty well hidden for the past year. But after today, we'll know where to find you. Yeah, sure. Brownsburg, ten miles down the road. Prison, Curly. It'll be a long time before you derail another train and rob the passengers. Hey, you're right. You know that's your right. You know why? I'm reformed. I'm a reformed character. I know some men reform, Curly, but not you. A woman died in that train wreck because you had no concern for the passengers' lives. You simply wanted to get your hands on the money, so you threw a log on the track. Yeah, I, uh, I did that a lot of times, didn't I? But we can prove this one, and you're going to swing for it. I wouldn't bet on it, fella. Where do you think I've been for the past year? You should have been in prison. I was. <laughs> sure, I turned myself in, served time, got pardoned. All you fellas got on me is a rope, and you can take this off. You're lying. Nope. You served only a year for robbery and murder? Eleven months and four days. Reach into my pocket. Sure. I'm a hero. I busted up the biggest jailbreak in history. Killed two of the ringleaders with my bare hands. Saved the warden's life. Yeah, the governor patted me on the shoulder. Curly, he says, Curly, I never saw a braver man. Curly, you're free. It's a pardon. A blanket pardon of all crimes up to the date of signing. Well, that paper real? It's real, Tonto. It's on executive stationery. I've seen the governor's signature before. You're a lucky man, Curly. Sure pays to be a hero, doesn't it? Easy, too, when you don't mind killing. Oh, I never mind that. There's something strange about your story, and I intend to find out about it. Well, sure, go right ahead, but uh, watch your step while you're doing it, or I might have to run you in. How you do that? Easy. You see, I'm such a hero and uh, so reformed that... <laughs> I've been invited to be sheriff of Brownsburg. I'm on my way there now to get my badge pinned on. <laughs> Him crazy, Kimusabi? This wouldn't be the first time a western town has hired a professional killer to protect it. It's a queer coincidence, Curly appearing in Brownsburg just after the swing roundup. Everybody got money. Yes, the bank is usually bulging with it at this time of the year. There's a stream of gold going through the express office. Tonto think Brownsburg make bad mistake. Curly's a thief and a killer. I think we ought to stick around until he shows his hand. You'd better go into town and get some supplies. Hours late. What's keeping you? Lots of things could happen. He got the pardon, didn't he? He said he'd be here. Yeah, it's a good deal of rough country to cover, Bell. Indians, road agents. Places where a horse might break a leg. You take it mighty easy. Maybe you don't care if he never gets here. Now, that's foolish. This whole thing was my plan, wasn't it? Right from the prison break to the townships inviting him here. It was the riskiest thing I ever heard of. He might have been killed instead of him killing the others. Not likely. They trusted him. I say it was risky. If you wanted to do him in, you couldn't have thought of a better way. My dear wife, why should I want to cold deck Curly? We've been friends for years. You're not Curly's friend. You wanted him to be sheriff so we could stake a claim on this county and clean it out. But if I hadn't insisted that it be Curly and nobody else... Don't talk else... to me about Curly. I know how you feel about him. How do you feel? I'd like to know, too. Curly! Oh, <laughs> Curly! How are you, old jailbird? How are you? Got my badge already all signed up? Curly! This is gonna be the slickest job ever pulled. Was it bad being cooped up? No. No, that was a real smart plan you had, Farnell. Real smart. the idea? Well, you wanted to be a widow, didn't you? Now was your chance. Well, what did he do? He double-crossed me. I was supposed to die in that prison break, and he paid good money to make sure that I would. Oh, Curly, you're wrong. He planned it the way it happened. Oh, no. But he did. The prisoners that went after the warden, the men you killed, that was the plan. They were supposed to kill me. Oh, a polecat. Always a card up his sleeve. Well, how do I get that badge? I'm a reformed character, you know. I can't kill anybody till I'm wearing it. Well, go on down the street to the mayor. He's waiting for you. Whole town's waiting for you. <laughs> You're a hero. <laughs> well, keep an eye on that polecat husband of yours. 
I might turn me into a widow before you do. Now, if he's here, the other one's sure to be close by. Bell, that masked man can upset the best plans ever made. We don't dare make a move while he's around. Well, let's get rid of him. Yeah, but how? The Indian's his friend, right? Like that. What would happen if the Indian was charged with murder? Murder? Whose? Say, that's a great idea. The other one comes to help the engine, we get them both. By reason of the authority vested in me as uh, mayor of this thriving municipality of Brownsburg, I hereby appoint you sheriff of said municipality with all the rights of that office, with full authority to maintain law, order, and the peaceful institution of banking. And may you do it better and live longer than the other fellows before you. And furthermore, oh, when you... Oh, Indian, would you do me a favor? Me, I like to help people. I've locked myself out of the house. Could you climb in the back window and open the door? Now, that seemed like easy job. Me do. Oh, good. I live right over there. your muscle. Sam? Sam, where are you? Oh! Sam! Oh, my darling husband. You murdering redskin. Oh, you low murdering redskin. That's what it looks like, all right, engine. I'm taking you in for murder. an official coroner due to death by persons unknown, I'm now presiding over and declaring this coroner's court of inquiry in session. Now then, Injun, you got anything to say for yourself? Me not kill anybody. Him dead when me find him. Mm-hmm. Then what was you doing in Miss Farnell's house? She asked me climbing window, open locked door. That's a lie. A dirty Injun lie. You said enough, Injun. Now, 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 Curly. Prisoner's got to get due process. Everything's got to go according to the law. And the law says I got to bind this engine over to trial. But me not guilty. Up to a jury of 12 good men and true to say that. That's the only opinion that counts. Or else you might be swinging from a tree out there right now. That's the best idea so far. No, no, not here in Brownsburg, Bill. That's what we got a sheriff for. Curly, take him away and lock him up. Me not kill this man. That not my knife. Me have Bowie knife. Where is your knife, engine? Guilty as a fox in a hen house. Luke, you and Jake pick up the departed and lug him on down to the funeral parlor. Court's adjourned. Well, Slim, looks like we're making it. Now that bill's in the hand. Now every ten star in the county is being warned by one of our boys. Don't crow before morning. We still got to get this Redskins pal out of the way. Yeah, and he'll be here soon if I know him. Come on, we got some planning to do. can be organized, they'll be a hundred miles away, scattered in a dozen different directions. I never wanted Curly. She said we needed him to head up gang. She wanted him. 
Oh, it was Curly. Curly. That's enough talking. Lie still, I'll get a doctor to you. The doctor was coronet. Killed by Slim last week. Slim, deputy sheriff. You're already organized. You've already got your killers behind badges. Too late for a doctor. She... She... knows how to... use... knife. Tag them all as deputy or make them sheriff, so they're making like prisoners. <laughs> Sam Farnell's idea. He's a real brain, Curly. Glad to meet up with you, Curly. Sam Farnell's dead. I'm the brains around here now. Well, you look worried, boys. Talk up. Well, now you got the engine in there. Where do we live? You won't live there again. We're going to do the job tonight. That's good. The town's loaded with gold. Sam Farnell was nothing to me. It's like his idea, that's all. Still a good idea. Well, that engine there has got a pal that might maybe get in the way. You listening real hard, engine? Me here plenty. Where's your pal? Him close by. Uh, how close would you say? Him always where you think him not. Don't I know. Only this time he's got to come here because here's where you are. Slim, take a rifle and cover the street from the roof. Hogjaw, cover the front door from the mayor's window. And if he makes a squawk, put him away. The masquerade's about over anyhow. We didn't reckon it was going to be so quick. Bell and I decided it was soon enough, and what we decide you do, cover the back. And now, gents, just in case you might be inclined to take a little siesta, let me tell you who this Umbri is we're up against. He wears a mask, gents, and he rides a white stallion. And he uses silver bullets, and he's never been known to miss. I can see by the look in your eyes you don't feel so good, huh? All right, get going. Going somewhere, Mrs. Farnell? You must be making plans for a long trip. What'll happen to your gambling house? It'll keep. You're not going to wait for the funeral? Why, Bill, what'll people say? I'll be far away. Not too far. You'll want to know what they say about your husband's killer. You're that Indian's friend. Where is he? In jail. Oh, uh, he told me to watch for you. But you went for a gun. Well, I wasn't sure at first. The mask. He didn't murder my husband. You've got to go down that jail and get him out. I know he didn't murder your husband. I tried to tell them that. I begged them to let him go. But they had to lock up somebody. He'll never come to trial. If you don't go down to that jail and get him out, there'll be a lynching in this town. You make getting him out of jail seem like no trouble at all. Well, there's, there's an old sheriff with whiskers down to here. That's why it'll be so easy for a mob to get your friend. Now, will you go down there and spring him? Oh, I just can't stand to see a man die for something he didn't do. That's mighty soft-hearted of you, Bill. That's a fine thing in a lady. Oh, get going. And you're mighty anxious to have me rush down to that jail. I didn't notice that Curly had whiskers this morning when I saw him. I had a talk with your husband. You never did. Only ten minutes ago. You're lying. He's dead. Not when they carried him out of here. He told me who stabbed him. He told me how handy you were at that. I should have been more on my guard. You're lying. You're lying. He's dead. That's what you thought before. But, Bill, imagine the plans he has for you if he's alive. He also told me it was you that wanted Curly here, that you insisted. Does that prove I had a talk with him? my house. He's looking for that one. What are you doing here? There's going to be shooting. Curly, he told me Sam's alive. Oh, that's crazy. No, he proved it. He told me something only Sam would know. Well, so he's alive. What's the difference? What's the difference? Well, look, the setup's just the same as if he was dead. We take care of this gunslinger with a mask, and then we get on with the job. What about me? You know Sam. Why, he never let up till he caught up with me. Well, you should have thought of that before you stuck that knife in his ribs. Why didn't you make sure? Well, there's no use your staying here and getting plugged. 
you want to make yourself useful, go on over to the mayor's house and tell Hog Jaw what you just told me. No. Not till you go to the undertaker's and take a look at Sam. Now, look, Belle. Let's not argue. I never hit a woman before in my life. It's to help me, you you're driving... You've got to go down there. You've got to find out if he's alive. And do what? And finish the job. Now, why can't you do it? You were good enough to start it. I... I can't. Hey, Curly, send up something to cut the dust. I'm frying up here. Keep your eye peeled, Slim. He's in town. Now, will you do as I tell you? You played me for a fool. Just as you'd have played me sooner or later. The only difference is, after we clean up around here, I won't hold out your share. Now, skedaddle out of here. You're in the way. Go on, get over to Hogjaw. came over to keep you company. Keep me company? Say, that's a nice thing to do, Miss Bell. That's a real nice thing. Where's the mayor? You, you want to see? You want to you see where, where he is? You sure look silly. Bell, Bell, he wants to kill me. That's a first-rate idea. Bell, he... Uh, Hogjaw, suppose I told you Curly was planning on double-crossing us. Oh, I wouldn't like that, no how. He double-crossed my husband, didn't he? Killed him. Why not us? Oh, well, Miss Bell, I wish you wouldn't talk like that. Curly's a real smart man. I like him. Well, I like you. And I came here to warn you. Curly's planning a lot of wild shooting when they raid the ranch houses. Shooting in the back. And that's no way for a decent man to die. A bullet in the back. Yeah, he killed Sam Farnell, but I thought you'd done that. Did he tell you that? Sure, you'd done it while he was down getting his badge for sure. Sure, that's the story he told you. There, there, do you see how he lies? Well, if you say so, Miss Bell. I don't care none about Sam Farnell, but sure like you. Good. Then get back in the window with your rifle and cover the jail door. I'll get Curly out into the street. When you get a bead on him, you know what to do. Sure. Won't be the first sheriff. You're all right, Hogjaw. How about Slim and Tonopah? I've had a talk with them. But it's me you like. But sure, how's y'all? That's common sense. You hear that? Miss Bell, she likes me. You're a passel of crooks and murderers, and you'll hang, every one of you. Oh, no, I tell you, Miss Bell likes me, and you talk about hanging. Oh, to finish you. Drop that rifle. Still one to go. You were busting up my office, you two dang local bandits. Mayor, get some rope and tie them up. Then get some of your honest citizens to step in and help you. There isn't a peace officer in this county who isn't an outlaw in disguise. They've got to be rounded up. Well, you don't look so honest yourself. This mask is on the side of law and order. I'll take care of them. Curly, you're rushing things. Sam wouldn't have done it that way. What makes a woman talk so much? Now everything's Sam, Sam, Sam Farnell. I didn't think he was so good when you stuck a knife in his ribs. He isn't dead yet. Dead or in a mackerel. Your saying so doesn't prove anything. Go down to the undertaker's and take a look. Why don't you quit that? Not as long as I think you're afraid. Afraid of what, a dead man? I got a live one on my hands. A live one wearing a mask and two guns, and he's in this town right now. Unless you lied about that. Oh, he's here, all right. And that's how I know about Sam. Or maybe it isn't Sam you're afraid of, staying in here undercover, afraid to go into the street. Maybe it's the Indian's friend. I shake over nothing that walks or crawls. Keep an eye on that redskin. You're going to take a look at Sam? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Slim, keep me covered. I'm going out. 
turning off. What now? Well, Hogjaw, he... Masquerading as a peace officer is in jail and an honest man wearing his badge. Oh, why do you listen to him? You know me. I've always dealt you a square deal. Why don't you listen to me now? He's a crook. If he wasn't a crook, why would he be wearing that mask? Hmm. Sounds good, Bill, but I heard too much when I was locked up in that desk. Oh, then you heard me try to trap Curly. You heard me tell Hogjaw. That's all I wanted to know. Oh, get me out of here. He'll kill me. He'll kill me. No, he ain't gonna kill you, Bill. It'll be the law that'll do that. The law has a double score to settle with you, Curly. You're going back to pay for that old crime and this new one, too. Well, Curly, looks like you're going to be an old, old man before you get out this time. Thanks to these two fellers. Hey, where'd they go? If it wasn't for that man, we'd have pulled the neatest job in the history of the West. I can tell you a lot about that mask. That was the Lone Ranger. Hurry on, get over, hurry! 